those poor people. We can't just leave them like this. Guard said you'd be coming. One of ours, possessed by a demon, locked himself in the belfry. Please help us silence these bells. They are calling to the devil's disciples. saved us. Those demons nearly pushed their way into the church. And Frank, his soul was lost to the beast. He needs supplies, food, medicine. I'm sorry, but the city has already been looted. You won't find much unless you know where to look. I will help you. But only if you promise to help me, for it is the Lord's will that you are here. Yesterday, we lost our water supply. Two brave souls left this morning to check the pump station. They haven't returned. Yeah. Can you find out what happened to them? Or at the very least, turn the water back on? Excuse me. She has diabetes. And without insulin, she's not going to make it. Yeah. Oh, God, thank you. There's a pharmacy not far from here, and I'm sure they have some insulin pens. I'll be right here. I don't want to leave her. Please, hurry. She doesn't have much time left. When the madness started, I was able to evacuate here, but... My wife and daughter, they didn't make it. Someone told me they saw them out there, half dead, half alive. God knows what they are, but they are no longer my family. Please, this is not easy, but I would like you to lay them to rest. 
to stop their suffering, yeah? They deserve peace, not this. Will you do it? Yeah, thank you. Here is a photo of them. Please, make it quick. Please don't let them suffer any longer. Can I ask a favor? We were attacked by the infected last night. I managed to get away, but I don't know what happened to my family. If they survive, they probably don't know I'm still alive. Could you help me let them know that I'm okay? I made some posters. If you can put them up around town, maybe someone I know will see them. Let's do it. Put my poster all around town and maybe they'll be able to find me. Alcohol to disinfect the cuts and scrapes of the injured. So many are hurt. I can do that. Good. Hurry. Infection can be more dangerous than the original injury. This is great. Thank you. If you find any more alcohol, we can always use it. Back already? Y'all should talk to Mother Helen. She's the one in charge.
I'm not gonna make it. Can, uh, can you do something for me? Can, can, can you give this to my family? I, I didn't have a will, so uh, I wrote it. I wrote it on the back of this, my last will and testament. You're witness to it. Yep. God bless you, mate. If they're still alive, they're at the church. I was holding off these things so they could get away. Thank you, friends. I thought I was dead. I can't do it alone. My house was attacked by looters. They took it over and threw me out, and I can't fight them alone. Everything I own is in there. You get me back inside, and I'll give you whatever you want. Do we have a deal? I'm gonna try. Times like these, you think people would pull together, but some people just take what they want and kill whoever gets in their way. Well, I say people like that don't deserve to live. So you do whatever you have to do. You do it yet? And you right here!
Made it. I knew Mother Helen would send someone. Now that these devils are gone, we can take care of the water. We'll go with Frank to start the pumps. But in the meantime, we could use more help. It looks like the equipment is basically okay. Power's okay. What we got here? Pumps working. Filters. Uh huh. I just worry about pressure. It's too low. It looks like we have some open fire hydrants. Yeah, uh, five of them. We, if we want tap water, we need to close those five hydrants. Yeah. Let me tell you where they are approximately. There's a car in the loading area under the crane. Use it to get to the hydrants. We're wasting a lot of water. These are all Satan's spawn. Can you check the dead in the pumping station and make sure none of them are dangerous? If they are, then you must send them straight to hell. I can do that. Good. There are many tools in the workshop that y'all can use for this purpose.
Thank you, friends. Ha! 
Terrence gave you this? It's, it's, it's a, a whip. Is this his, is this his blood? Oh my god. I'm Hugo. Mother Helen told me that you can be trusted. Our brother Grant needs someone to help him with the town's public address system. We must tell those who are still alive that they can seek sanctuary here. Would you go to Grant and help? Let's do it. God bless you. Head to the radio tower and give Grant this recorder. This is what he is to broadcast. I'll contact him on the walkie-talkie and let him know that help is on the way. Thank you. May God have mercy on their souls. God bless you. Water will help us survive these dark days and better serve our Lord and Savior. Your good deeds have reignited hope in the hearts of those who survive to serve the Lord. When the end of days began, the people were afraid. Many panicked and rioted. Stores were looted. There's nothing left here. You will have to search in the wealthy part of town. Unfortunately, there's no good way to get there. The wealthy didn't want the poor taking what was theirs. So they destroyed all the bridges, cutting themselves off from the rest of the city. I don't know whether you wish to save the world or bring it down. But until time ends, we can still save the innocent. One of our flock, Joseph, knows the way. He will help you. Hey there, mates. It's Cinemore here. Listen, Laura, that orphan girl I was telling you about, she's got 104 fever. She's delirious. Thinks Bobby's trying to kill her. People are starting to panic. They think she's infected. She's only ten years old, and they want her dead. Look, I know you're doing your best, mates, but time's running out. Every minute counts. 